Okay, so number one is she gets up. <laughs> number two, she takes the bus. Number three, she goes to class. Number four, she works. Work. Number five, she studies. Okay, now B, he has a breakfast. What number is that? Uh, is Joshua, Joshua Burns. Joshua Burns. Uh, number one, is get up. One is get up. Uh, two, he goes for a run. He goes for a run. Three, he has a breakfast. He has breakfast. Four, he starts work. He starts work. Five, he eats dinner. He eats dinner. Excellent. All right. Now the next one, Maya Black. Maya Black. Uh, number one, she goes to work. She goes to work. Number two, she finishes work. She finishes work. Number three, she has dinner. She has dinner. Number four, she goes home. Number four, she goes home. Number five, she goes to bed. She goes to bed. All right, good job. Excellent work. Okay, now we're going to move on to the following activity. So for the following activity, we're going to be looking at 2.0 lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las partes de las casas y los apartamentos. Listen, please. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, Please share your work in our discussion forums. We're going to 
repeat one more time. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Describe your home. What rooms are in Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to answer the questions. What rooms are in your house? ¿Qué habitaciones hay en casa? What rooms are in your house? ¿Cuáles cuartos hay en casa? What rooms are in apartments in the country? ¿Qué cuartos hay en apartments in So you're going to write. So it's a basic answer. Aquí, in the discussion forum. Seis oraciones describiendo seis habitaciones. Aquí, in the discussion forum. You will have. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Okay, so, hello, Jose. Welcome. We are working from this section over here. Vocabulary, apartments and houses. And we're going to write some examples here. You have 10 minutes. Pregunta. Yes, Neto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Excuse me. Yes. Eh, casi no, casi no se le escucha, teacher. Y ahora me escucha. Hoy sí, un poquito mejor. Ah, okay, sorry. Eh, vamos a vamos a escribir unos ejemplos acá en esta sección describiendo habitaciones bueno respondiendo a estas preguntas what rooms are in your house what rooms are in houses in your country y what rooms are in apartments in your country estas tres preguntas las vamos a responder acá okay. Una pregunta. Yes. Una pregunta. What rooms are in your house? Mm -hmm. es, ¿Qué habitaciones? Yeah. Hay ¿Cuántas en tu... habitaciones? No, ¿qué habitaciones hay en tu casa? Hay una cocina, por ejemplo. Hay un dormitorio master. Hay una sala. ¿Qué tipo de cuartos hay? Okay.
All right, is everybody finished? Ya terminamos todos? Si no ha terminado, le va a quedar de tarea. Now we're going to look at additional practice for conversation. Listen, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to respond to yes or no questions in the simple present. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns, he, she, and it, does, or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, he does, or negative by saying, 
No, he doesn't. Now is your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic for do and does. At this moment, do you have any questions? Hello? Eh, ¿Tienen una pregunta en este momento sobre el do y el does? No question. ¿Ah? No, no hay pregunta. ¿No question, Johnny? ¿Neto? No. Eh, no, teacher. Lo, único, no. lo último que vi, pero sí, sí, lo debo captar ahí cómo está la... Ok. ¿José? Solo, solo una duda, teacher. Eh, ¿Sí? Cada vez que, que sea una pregunta con, con usando el do o el does, uh -huh. eh, siempre, se, eh, ya sea af, eh, afirmativo o negativo, siempre hay que, eh, hay que contestar yes, I do, o no. O I no. Don't. Uh -huh, correcto. Y sí. cuando eh, una pregunta involucra una doble edge question, y junto con el do, uh -huh. eh, igual se va a contestar yes, I do, o, o no, I don't. Eh, ¿Cuál es? Deme un ejemplo usando el do con el wh. Eh, bueno, no, no tengo ahorita acá uno a la mano, sola, sí, solamente no. me surgió una duda. No, 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 no se usan el do con el wh. Solamente está una pregunta eh, que, ah, okay. es o sea, what, que, cuando... que es what do you do. Y, y eso se responde eh, tu profesión. What do you do? Tú decís I am a teacher. I am a doctor. I am a lawyer. Pero esa es la única pregunta que lleva WH y do. De ahí no hay otra pregunta que se mezcle. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Esa era mi duda, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Los dejo. Nos vemos mañana. Good night. Good night, night teacher. Bye. Bye.